Hello everyone. Welcome to Aptitude Jab. This is a set based on routes. Uh, it says that there are seven localities in a city that are connected by certain two-way and one-way roads as shown in the figure. So if you see double lines, double arrows, that means it is a two-way road. And if you see a single-sided direction, that is a one-way road. On a rainy day, the traffic commissioner of the city changed all the existing two-way into one-way roads while ensuring that any locality can be reached from any other locality. So that means all these are still connected, but all these two ways have been converted to one-way roads. And based on this, we have to answer these questions. <coughs> okay. So we need to find out that what is going to be the direction. Let us say P and Q are connected whether it is going to be P to Q or Q to P. Similarly, Q and U are connected. So whether it is Q to U or U to Q. So for all these, uh, there are six two-way roads in this image. So we need to find out how are these going to change after this rule. Okay. Now, all these places can be reached from one another. That means that for every point, there should be an incoming as well as outgoing route. Okay, so let us start with V because it has the most number of routes. So this is outgoing. This is also outgoing. So a person can go out from V but cannot come to V. So this means U to V should be an incoming route. Okay, so that a person can come to V and then go to these places. Now to T, like a person can come to T from V but a person has to go out from T. So a person cannot go back into this route. See, one-way route are fixed. We cannot change them. We have to change the two-way routes. So T to S. Now, if you see from V to S, a person can enter. A person can enter from T to S. But the exit will only be from S to R. So if a person is from S at S, the person cannot go to T or V directly. The person has to go to R. Now R, the input is from this side. So outgoing should be R to Q. Okay. Now if you see R Q, we have three routes. So which of them will be outgoing? Let us see. So instead of Q, let us focus on P. So we have incoming route to P. So we should have an outgoing route to Q. So P to Q is done. Now P to Q and R to Q, both are incoming routes. So there has to be an outgoing route. So it connects Q to U. So this is the route that we will have. So these two-way routes will be converted to one-way routes. Okay. So this is the network diagram that is <coughs> possible. And let us answer the questions. Which of the following is one of the one-way roads after the changes? So Q to R, no, it is the other way around R to Q. R to S, no, it is S to R. U to V, yes, it is U to V. So this is the answer. What is the minimum number of localities that a person must pass through to go from T to U, excluding T and U? Okay. So if a person has to go from T to U, so T is here and U is here. A person cannot go from T to V. So a person will have to go from T to S, then from S to R, then from R to Q, and from Q the person can directly come to U. So a person has to pass through three localities. We have to exclude T and U. In how many ways can a person travel from V to Q without passing through any locality twice? So V to Q. So V is here. Then we have T this side. We have S this side. We have T to S connection like this. Then S to R and R to Q. So we need to go from V to Q. So either we can go directly V, S, R, Q or we can take this route also V, T, S, R, Q. So there are only two ways. We cannot go from V to U this side. Okay. So there are two such ways. If a person traveled from one locality to another and passed through all the localities exactly once, how many of the seven localities 
can be the locality from which he started so basically it says that a person has to cover all the localities and visit a locality only once so we need to find out the number of such possible starting points so let us make this diagram in a clear way p q r s t u and v so p to q then r to q to so this is the root diagram that we get now we need to determine that from how many points the person can start and cover all the places okay so let us start from p the first letter so if a person starts from p the person has to cover all places the person can go to q then the person cannot go to r but the person can go to u and then to v then if a person goes to s that person cannot come to t so v to t t to s s to r so all things are covered so if the person covers the root like this p q u v t s and r so a person can complete this so p is one such point now let us look at the next point which is q okay so if a person starts from q so q say a person can go to u okay and from u if the person goes to p the person cannot go anywhere else because it says that you have to visit all the localities exactly once okay so you cannot come back to u again so not possible in this way suppose the person from q to u goes and then u to v and then eventually the person cannot come back to p i mean the person has to come back to q then only the person can go to p so you have to visit all the localities exactly once so it is not possible from q if you look at r the r person will go to q and then again the same thing will happen q to u okay so you cannot visit all the localities now if you look at s from s a person can go to r and then from r to q then q to u okay so again uh, this becomes uh, r to q uh, u go and then q to sorry s to r r to q q to u then again you are not because you cannot go if you go this side then you are stuck here and from this side if you visit this side then you cannot reach p okay so s is also not possible similarly if you look from t t to s s to r r to q q to u then you cannot go towards p if you go towards p you cannot come back to b if you go to v you cannot come back to you cannot go to p so t is also not possible suppose the person starts from v so a person can go to the person has to go to t because if you go to s you cannot come back to t so you go to s then r then q now from q to u and then u to p so this covers all the points v t s r q u p so this is what the root will look like okay so this is another possibility now if a person starts from u the person can go to p q and the person will return to you so cannot take this route if a person goes from u to v t s r q so the person cannot visit p so if a person starts from u this side the person can visit all points except p okay and if the person goes here the person will visit q and then end up coming back to u only so this means from u also one cannot cover all the points So there are just two points P and V. If a person started from V and passed through all the localities exactly once, 
which was the last locality he must have visited so this is the previous question only so if the person starts from b the last locality is going to be b so this is the solution to the set and the answers to the questions